thick pets in a bit to ensure families of all shapes and sizes are offered the same support. Paid paternity leave proving a big hit with both the humans and their furry babies. Paris the Cavoodle is a picture of health now, but it's been a rough few weeks. She was not able to... to ensure families of all shapes and sizes are offered the same support. Paid paternity leave proving a big hit with both the humans and their furry babies. Paris the Cavoodle is a picture of health now, but it's been a rough few weeks. She was not able to jump, walk or run. Nursing a dislocated hip after being hit by a car, the six-year-old required constant care, so her owner Sal took Paternity leave. I could focus on her recovery and yeah, I could come back to work fresh and not having to worry about my fur baby at home. Australian company ICD Property has introduced the paid leave option for all its staff. Some of us don't have human babies and we treat our fair babies as if they are human babies. Right now, the policy applies to pet dogs, cats, horses and goats and provides employees with an additional four days of paid leave to settle a new animal into the family. While two days of their existing carer's leave entitlement can be used to look after a sick or injured pet or take time off after a loss. It's a scheme that's growing, recently made available to staff at Brisbane Brewery Brewdog. This is just an extra way that we can get back to our amazing employees. While the mental and physical benefits of owning a pet are known, some experts say that increased happiness can also mean a more productive employee. When employees are happier, they're more motivated to do their work. And just like when we have sick days, employees have to provide evidence their pet is actually sick. Businesses need to pay attention to what people care about. People care about their pets, then businesses should be interested.